Hey guys, had a day off. Welcome to the channel. I am going to visit Raleigh's in Fairfield, Connecticut. Uh, right now I'm driving up 95. It's exit 21. I'll show you guys uh, where it is exactly. They have great reviews on Google. Uh, with the little stuff that I read, they mentioned that they, uh, they deep fry their dogs and then they grill them a little bit. So I'm excited to try that out. They have a couple of dogs I'm going to try. I'm going to try out three of them. All right, 95, exit 21. All right, so in exit 21, you hang a right. <clears throat> you get under the overpass, Fairfield uh, Road, and then make a right, close road. Yep. And it's going to be to the right-hand side. So they got a couple good reviews. Uh, one of them was from Martha Stewart. So I don't know if this was pre or post jail, right? So if she's eating hot dogs and talking about, uh, you know, this place, I'm thinking it's post jail. So this is uh, Thuggish Mar Martha. All right, well packed. I mean, I see a couple cars over here. All right, time to pay the bills and hear from our sponsor. Thanks. So here it is, Raleigh's drive-in. Uh, they have a Hummel Hot Dogs here, which is the local brand. It's the local Connecticut brand, which is okay. I mean, I, I, I'm not a huge, huge fan, but it's okay. I like it. If it's good for Thug Martha, it's good for me. Let's try it out. You try the chili dog, the works, and the hot chihuahua. It's good. So I got the chili cheese dog. I got the works, which is mustard, relish, kraut, and bacon. And then I got the hot chihuahua, which is their homemade hot relish. And I ordered a, a separate hot relish just to try that out. Yep, I'm liking this place already. Look at the inside. So I placed an order for the uh, uh, chili cheese dog, mustard, relish, kraut dog, which is the, uh, the works. And then the uh, chihuahua. And then a side of hot relish because that's what they're famous for. So that's what I ordered, I'll highlight it in the menu. But I'm just gonna sit here and chill out like this. Oh, and you can see the kitchen right there. That's awesome. All right, that way you can see the inside. Just picked a nice little booth. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this. The chili cheese dog. They got the New England style buns, which I like. This looks really, really good. I got the side of the hot relish, which I want to try out separately. This is the hot chihuahua. The hot chihuahua. And this is the works. Oh boy, look at this full meal. Let's start off with this bad boy. Man, this looks really good. I'm gonna try the... Uh, Hot relish first. That's what they're famous for. Spicing good. Not too sweet though, but it is spicy. I'm excited for this one. Chili cheese. Then deep fried, then grilled. Oh, it's melted cheese too. It's like melted mozzarella cheese. Some bits of uh, ground beef in there. Not too thick. No beans for, for you guys who don't like beans. Yeah, very good dog. Can't beat this. The melted cheese itself just gives it an extra taste. Anything melted is good, cheese-wise. Mm. So with skin, hummus with skin. Just really good. Next, I'm gonna try the hot chihuahua. With 
the uh, hot relish, but I ordered extra, so I'm going to put some more on here. Right on top of the onions. Beautifully toasted buns, New England buns. Spicy mustard, great snap. I'm liking uh, diced onions on here more and more. My clean, my refined palate. with water. I feel like I left the best for last. The works. Alright, this one does have sweet relish and sauerkraut mustard. Alright, I'm excited. These are bacon bits, yep. Yeah, bacon bits. Mm -hmm. Crispy bacon bits. Very crispy. Alright. Oh, bacon's overpowering bacon bits but you can feel the rest let me sprinkle some of these off I want to taste the rest the sauerkraut and the relish the mustard sauerkraut's fresh the sweet onions are nice and the mustard, very spicy mustard, good. Excellent. I'm, I'm gonna finish all of this. They're all in the eight. Very good. There's proof. Nothing left. Nothing left. I like the. Um, Hot chihuahua more. Second was the chili, and then the last one was the uh, everything. Yeah, this place is uh, is legit. You haven't been here for for 50 years if you're not. I uh, I liked it a lot. Really, really good hot dogs. I'll rate them right now. I just didn't want to make a big thing because it was getting packed. I had a lot of people next to me, so I don't want to make a whole big thing about it. But I'll rate them. All right, did I enjoy it? I enjoyed it. It was amazing. Uh, again, there was a lot of people, like the booths filled up, so I don't want to be disrespectful. Everybody's there eating, so I don't want to be like, oh, making a big scene. That's why I, I didn't talk too much. But I ate all of them. They were all in the eights. Which one did I like the most? All right, so let's let's rate them, and then um, and then let's see, you know, what 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 Thug Martha thinks, right? So Thug Martha, the first one that I liked the most, I would say, is the Chihuahua. They had a nice kick to it. Very good. Good snap. All the hot dogs had a good snap. That was the best one to me. And I would give that an 8.7. An 8.7. Doug Martha approves. Number two, the chili and cheese. Because the cheese was melted mozzarella with the with the chili on top. I thought it was amazing. Right? And I and uh I would give them an 8.5. The uh I would have liked the chili to be a little bit more thicker. It was a little watery, but, but it was still very good. Very good. So I'd give that an 8.5. Then the last one, the works, I just felt like it was overpowering the bacon bits, a lot of bacon bits. Without the bacon bits, it would have been, it would have been close to a nine. But with the bacon bits, if you buy it as is, I would say an 8.3, still good. You know, sweet relish was good. Sauerkraut was fresh. All the hot dogs were really good. The New England bun, it, it, you know, it's not my my style of bun, but um, it's still a good bun. It was toasted. So Thuggish Martha approves. This is a good spot. Uh, I, I hope you guys come visit. Again, exit 21, I-95, exit 21. Make a right to Post Road. Make another right, and it's going to be on your right. Raleigh's Drive-In Hummel Hot Dogs. And and look, there's if I show you, hold on show you guys 
More people are going in. All these cars, I was here by myself. Look, all these cars are popping in for lunchtime. I mean, it's not, look, workers, everybody's, everybody's here. So, this is a legit spot for lunch, and it's full. Hope you guys enjoy the week, all right? Love you guys. Bye.